Hi, I am Mondo from MondoCat.tv, and this is Noob Tutorials by Noobs for Noobs. Today we're going to learn how to do an avatar. So, open up your favorite browser, go to VRChat.com, log in up that away. Uh, you have to use your own login information, I'm sorry, you can't use mine. Uh, so you might have to register an account if you don't have one already. You may also have to enter a one-time email code if it has been a while since you've done that. So go to the download section and we want to download the creator companion. Uh, it doesn't take too super long if you've got a good connection. Open it up, install it, agree, hit next, 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 next. You know the drill. Uh, this is sped up. So uh, it's going to take a lot longer on your computer than mine. So feel free to pause and wait. Uh, so after it is all downloaded, we are going to open it up and uh, hit the show me around button. It's going to do like some tutorial stuff. But we can ignore all of that and hit continue at the bottom here. It's going to say Unity is not found. We're going to install Unity. It's going to give us some options here, but we only care about the first one right now, which is download Unity from the Unity website. It's going to open up your browser. Scary. Click the download button. That's it. And then download for Windows. Super easy. You can get lost in this website. So don't be too scared. So once it open, uh, similar before, open it up. Next, 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 next. All that good stuff. And um, once it gets installed, which is, again, going to take way longer than this, uh, we are going to open it up and uh, we need to sign in again. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get around this, so you're going to have to make an account if you don't have one already. Again, you can't use mine. <laughs> so uh, once we get all signed in, the next step on our creator companion checklist is to install the correct version of Unity, not the one Unity prompts you to install. Dismiss this ad, and then you will see the wrong version. First, um, we got to make sure we are installing the correct version of Unity. This is not the right one. Not the right one. It's going to prompt you to install the wrong version. So if you go to the VRChat Unity Hub installation guide, it will tell you the right version. Compare it with the version it asks. If it's not the same, hit skip. Activate your license here by hitting the agree button. And then we are going to install the correct version. So we're going to go all the way back to our creator companion and hit the blue install correct version of Unity. This could take up to 20 minutes if you have a crappy laptop like mine. So once that is all installed, uh, we are almost ready to Unity. So we are going to um, open the creator companion. And this is our main window. We have no projects currently. So if you want to hit that blue button of create new project, we're going to create a new project and we're going to do an avatar today. So click avatars 2022 and create project all the way at the bottom. You can name it whatever you'd like. Uh, this has a bunch of packages. We don't worry about that. Just keep on going. Uh, that will be another lesson, but the basic packages will work for us today. Uh, Unity, again, could take quite a while to open, uh, but after it does open, we're going to be presented with the gray normal screen. We're going to be working with this quite a bit in our further tutorials. Um, so uh, we need to get an avatar to put in here. So I really like uh, Little Saku makes nice avatars from Gumroad, and some of them are free. Uh, so we're going to search up their avatars and scroll all the way down to get, um, they have a little a cute little kitty one. So, um, this one does take a coupon code. It is right in the, uh, description there. Put it, uh, you gotta put $1 in, add to the cart and then put the coupon code in and then it's free. Uh, I don't even think you need to make an account, but you do need to put in, uh, your email address, your VR chat name, discord. Uh, and a little little note there. So after you get that, you want to uh, confirm you're human. Click the packages, and there is the PC version. We're just going to do PC for now. It is going to download, and we are going to hop back over to Unity, the third tab, and then go all the way down to import package, custom package. 
We're going to find out where we downloaded our Unity package from. Yay, there's our kitty girl. Um, in the folder with her name on it, there is a thing called Open Me. Double click on that, and uh, it opens the avatar. We want to click in the hierarchy, the name of the avatar. We have one thing to adjust. On the right hand side under the inspector, there is a detach blueprint icon. Click that, otherwise it will try to upload to the owner's account, not yours. At the top of Unity, hit VR Chat SDK, show control panel, and then you'll have access to the VR Chat SDK options. Uh, you might also need a, another email code. Uh, the second tab there, uh, we are going to name our avatar. It doesn't really matter what it is right now. And then we're going to generate uh, a thumbnail. So we go down and we can just capture from the scene. And uh, if it looks all good, we can hit the capture button. Scroll all the way down. Uh, make sure you check the I agree thingy-mabobber. Hit build and publish, not build and test. Build and publish. It'll take a while to load through all of the Unity stuff, load through all the VR chat stuff, and that's it. We've uploaded an avatar, so we're going to go check it out. So we're going to pop over to Steam. We're going to open VR chat in desktop mode so I can show you um, all of our, our hard work, this uh, six and a half minutes of agony I've just put you through. So if we go to our avatars, and uh, there is a tab called upload it. Click on the one that we just uploaded and change. And voila, we are a kitty girl. I was already kitty girl, but now you're a kitty girl too. Hell yeah. And it does come with pre-made options like to uh, glasses on and off, whiskers on and off, skin slider, um, and some different hue sliders for the clothes and hair and stuff. Uh, it does come also with Go Go Loco, so you can do those cool full body poses and sit on stuff with your pals for 16 hours straight. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below, and we will see you next time on Monocat.tv's Noob Tutorials. Bye, a noob for a noob. Bye-bye.